Hi guys, this is Abel Vascuñana from Autolook Games and today I want to show you our game editor. If you remember on the last video update uh, we were uh, watching or how the model viewer operates and how we import the models uh, to to make them work on the game editor. So right now uh, we'll see the imported models on our game editor and you'll see how uh, we make the layouts, the maps and and you'll be able to see which uh, tools we use to, to make the game actually. So this is pretty cool because uh, it will give you like a sneak peek of uh, the technology, our proprietary technology that we already have into place to develop the game. So I think this is pretty important because uh, it's not only like theory, it's not something that uh, we still have to develop and we have been working on this like uh, on for the last 10th uh, months. So even we, we have to add a lot of content in the game. Uh, the most important things are uh, like already implemented because uh, if we have the tools then it's much easier to develop all the content we don't have to worry about like having a tool that needs to do this or that we can already focus exclusively on on working on the content and this is uh, a pretty good thing and it means like we are now on the on the middle i would say on the middle stage of the development it it's still like seven months so in this last in the next like five or six months will will add a lot of content in the game so let's go let's uh, here you can see like um, the the main the main editor window and then on the left side this is the me menu window to say so uh, as you see uh, the game window uh, doesn't like occupy or fit uh, uh, the full screen but actually when we trigger the the program uh, the editor we can select the the resolution of the game editor but I do it like this because otherwise you won't see the menu editor screen it would be on the other monitor and it uh, I'd like you to to see how we operate also on this screen. So now let's go to load a map. Instead of creating a new one, we'll load a one that we already have and we'll load this one. So here you can see uh, actual uh, actually it's uh, stuff that will be in the in the game. Maybe we'll uh, adjust the the scales or whatever. First thing as you can see, uh, a map is composed logically by different rooms and what we need to do if we want to edit uh, a room is selecting the one that we want to edit, obviously. So as you see here, now room number four is selected, is this one, and we'll edit it, okay? And then you can see that we can now select the individual elements of this room okay now let me make some room for this because you cannot see this it's on the other monitor wait a second and I'll add it here mm -mm -mm. okay not make it smaller I'll do it like this and also this one So as you can see here, you could select also all the 3D elements like with this. For example, we can even higher. Okay. So let's, for example, uh, edit this model. And you can see for at here at the left side you will see all the prop properties of this element and this is the scale for each of the three axes 
and also the rotation of the model. Uh, a cool thing that we can do is, for example, like changing the scale. We can do this here. For example, if I put three here, you see that now this has changed it completely. So we'll make it really, really big to notice the change. Okay, so now we've changed the scale of this model. Now it's really, really big. We can also do this, like if we press the E key and then we do it like this. So, so we have different ways of like changing the scale of the models. Also, we can rotate the model if we press the R key and then also one of the axes so this is a pretty good thing and this is very necessary because when we uh, import a models mm, they can be like loop sided so we must put them on the right position so how we put add a new model on the game editor then we should press the alt key and we would see a screen with like different models. The first thing that we must do is press F4 because if we press F4 you can see that all the models like will load. All the three models that we have already introduced it using the model viewer as we saw in the last video. So now all the mo all the 3D models are being loaded. Yeah, you see a tiger that has like <laughs> uh Okay, as you can see here, it's like pretty like crazy trying to find uh, some specific models. But for that, we have a very useful list that is on the other monitor. And then I will show you. Uh, so let me resize it a moment. Okay. It's a pity because I cannot, uh, let me throw it like this at the moment. Okay, as you can see in the list, we have architecture, environment, furniture, ambient actor, race, faction, and item. In this case, for example, if I want to add an actor in the game editor, I would select actor and then if I want a mail, for example, and then as you can see, the list has been re uh, greatly reduced. And now we only have the actor models we've already introduced it. As you recall, we introduced the villager. We also have an elf that does ha is doing a kind of crazy animation. <laughs> also like a dark make and also a hammerer and this cool like uh, a dwarf. But it's called Mir and will be one of the party members of the game. Uh, so now that we have selected Golmir, uh, we go in the game again and press the shift key and you can see Golmir model. We left click because I'm left handed so uh, Jose Manuel adapted the game editor for left handed people which is a, <laughs> a cool thing. And okay we already have the model and as we saw Previously, we can scale it. We can scale him like using the different axes. But as it is a dwarf, it should be like it should be like proportionate. So we'll try to adjust it using these numbers here, and I think it will be much easier. I don't know. We'll try with with this one for example at the moment okay now maybe uh, it's a bit small <laughs> also a cool thing I wanted to show you is that for example this is an isometric view so I'm not really sure if this model is on the air It's probably on the air so it's not like uh, on the ground so so we can press F2 
and we can see the model like well this is not pretty useful because we have the wall so we cannot see the dwarf but for example we have we have him here okay so here we we know that I don't know if I can select him like this. I should be able to select him. Otherwise, what I can do is looking for him on this list. And now, ah, sorry, sorry, because we have actually two dwarfs here. I had already like used another one. As you can see, the one we've edited is not much proportionate. So I don't know. We can. A cool thing that we can do, as you'll see now, is like getting this model, for example, but this model is on in other room, so I should change the room if I want to copy this model. But you'll see what we'll do now. Also, we can have like even more screens, but at the moment we'll We'll get only one. Let me do one thing. We'll remove this model. Uh, haha. We'll close this and this. We'll select this room will edit this room and what we can for example like copy this model with control C then we close this we go and select this and then we do control P and we have the model with the same like size also we can do one thing and it's like saving uh, the scale of this model so we can use uh, the same model afterwards so for that as you can see here if we click on new we've added this okay so now if we change the scale of this model for example let's put three okay uh, then if I select this again the model goes back to the to the scale that we have previously saved so this is pretty helpful and useful for all these models so you have seen here how like uh, we we work with uh, this is the basic stuff we used to make the the maps so this is pretty cool because now we have uh, all the all the tools in place and now it's a matter of like focusing exclusively on adding content uh, in next videos you'll see you'll see all these like animated models and we'll show you some uh, gameplay basic gameplay sneak peeks but uh, at the moment we we must create a lot of maps a lot of content and this is something that I really really enjoy so I'm eager to start working on, on, on making like many dungeons and, and models so hopefully we'll be able to show you like uh, more screenshots and more stuff or and how the game is shaping up and before closing I want to show you that uh, we'll be able to we can work on full screen so let me close this and this We'll, we'll save the map just in case and we'll add it here on the desktop map one it's okay and yes and now we'll as you can see we can select we'll get the max for my monitor now you can see that 
okay yeah I, I'll put this on the other monitor but now you can see we can't even work in, in in full screen not windows size but at least you can see that this is much bigger now we load the map we load the one with the changes that we made this is map number one is this one open okay so here we have it so this is pretty cool to to watch and work in full screen because you don't have like to be messing around with all the windows so i hope you've liked this this update and any doubt you have uh, please let me know and i'll try to answer you on the on the forums on our green light site or on our own forums so see you on the next update okay bye bye